Good afternoon. I'm Alicia Smith and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Attorneys seated a jury today in the federal trial of two men accused of running a human trafficking ring at the now shuttered Victory Inn Motel in Detroit. Those jurors listened to opening statements in the case of two men charged with serious crimes. One defendant, Derek Bell, who was on the run for almost three years. Another, Harold Nero, was on the Fed's most wanted list. Police raided the Victory Inn five years ago. They say they rescued more than a dozen women. Michigan's three major research universities are teaming up to address the frequent flooding that has plagued many Detroit communities over the years. Researchers from Michigan State University, the University of Michigan, and Wayne State University are taking part in a roundtable discussion with other state leaders. Heavy rainfall last June flooded freeways and many basements. Experts are discussing better ways to handle stormwater while also improving pumping stations and infrastructure. Well, today is the last day to file your tax returns. Your return must be postmarked or e-filed before midnight. The IRS is urging Americans to file electronically. The agency says it's currently taking up to six months to process a paper return. If you have not yet filed, you can file Form 4868 for an automatic extension, but you still have to pay the estimate of what you owe today. And we have a winter weather advisory in effect for a good chunk of Metro Detroit, mainly north of Detroit. And this is going to include several of our counties until roughly 4 a.m. for areas like Lapeer, St. Clair, as well as Sanilac counties. The accumulating snowfall could cause some issues on the roads, but temperatures are expected to be above freezing for at least most of the day.